Have you ever wondered why minivans don't get the same hype as SUVs or sports cars? Could it be the design, the perception, or just a matter of trend? Well, it's time to shift that focus and zoom in on a game changer in the minivan world, the 2025 Toyota Sienna. This isn't just any minivan, it's a fusion of efficiency, comfort, and cutting-edge technology. Imagine cruising in a vehicle that offers a business-class experience in the second row and crushes fuel economy estimates with its hybrid power. Intrigued? Keep watching as we dive deep into what makes the 2025 Toyota Sienna a standout in its class. And if you're keen on keeping up with the latest and greatest in auto innovations, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The Toyota Sienna got a major overhaul for 2021, marking the start of its fourth generation. Looking ahead to 2025, we're expecting a small change. That's actually a good thing. The minivan market might be small but fierce, and the Sienna holds its own. It has a lot of space and cargo space. It has driver assist features and practical tech that make your drive smooth and easy. But the best part about the Sienna isn't something you can see. It's the standard hybrid powertrain. This new model only has a hybrid setup. A four-cylinder engine paired with an electric motor cranks out 245 horsepower. During our tests at Edmunds, the front-wheel drive version hit an impressive 42.7 miles per gallon, way above the EPA's 36 miles per gallon combined estimate. The only trade-off for these amazing fuel savings? The acceleration is pretty laid back, even by minivan standards. The Sienna is a solid pick if you're shopping for a minivan. But don't stop there. If you think the Sienna's power isn't quite enough, look at the Honda Odyssey. Need stellar fuel efficiency? The plug-in hybrid Chrysler Pacifica or the new hybrid 2025 Kia Carnival might catch your eye. For a deeper dive, check out our test team's expert rating of the Sienna to get the scoop on its practicality, comfort, and more. Got gear to haul for work? Kids to shuttle around in the morning? Minivans are champs at these tasks. We brought a Toyota Sienna into the Edmunds long-term test fleet. We dove into the pros and cons of owning one for a whole year. Our test ride was a 2021 Sienna, but most of what we found also applies to the 2024 model. These days, minivans are so good that being the best means nailing all the small details. The Sienna nails the basics – comfort, space, safety, and tech. Plus, it offers fantastic fuel economy. However, the driving experience? It's a bit of a letdown, keeping the Sienna from snagging the top spot in the minivan world. So, how does the Sienna handle the road? With its hybrid-only powertrain, acceleration is smooth but a bit slower than its rivals. It takes a second longer to hit 60 miles per hour compared to other minivans, including the older V6 Sienna. You might not notice the slower pace during your daily drives around town, but when you're merging onto the highway or climbing hills, it becomes apparent. The Sienna isn't the nimblest minivan out there, but it does just fine. It feels more like driving a car than an SUV. The steering is perfectly weighted for long highway cruises and light enough for easy turning in tight spots. The emergency braking is decent, but the pedal can feel a bit grabby, making smooth stops a bit challenging. How comfy is the Sienna? We couldn't find anything to complain about after spending hours in the driver's seat. A lot of that is thanks to its wide range of adjustments, which is standard in this class. The second row, though, is where it shines. It feels like a business class, with optional Ottoman-style footrests and a huge range of sliding options. Add in the optional four-zone climate control, one more zone than most competitors, and have a cozy, hot, or cold cabin. Noise can be a bit of an issue. When the engine isn't working hard, the cabin is nice and quiet, almost serene. But push it for power, and everyone inside will hear it. The engine and CVT make a noticeable drone. A neat workaround is the optional in-car voice projection, which sends voices from the front through the rear speakers and headsets. It's a handy feature, so you can save your voice when you need to shout. What's the inside like? 
The Sienna stands out here. It's at a perfect height for easy entry and exit. The driving position is top-notch and adaptable. We love the big central touchscreen, though the midday sun can cause some glare and a few buttons on the far side are stretched to reach. Other than that, all the main controls are logically placed and work as they should. Visibility is naturally good, but you can opt for a surround view camera system with a see-through view of the Sienna for added ease. A digital rear view mirror is also great for seeing past headrests or a packed cargo area. The sliding doors and rear hatch? They have a cool no-touch open and close feature. Swipe your foot to make them work. What about the tech? The infotainment system is pretty slick, combining a responsive touchscreen with physical buttons. This setup lets you choose how you want to navigate the menus. The built-in navigation is spot-on and easy to read. Plus, the system's voice commands understand natural language well. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, so your smartphone integrates seamlessly. Inside, there's a cabin intercom system, Wi-Fi connectivity, and plenty of USB ports for all three rows. The advanced driver aids stand out too. Adaptive cruise control works smoothly, avoiding the sudden braking you sometimes get with other brands. How's the storage? Minivans are storage champions, and the Sienna is right up there. Behind the third row, there's a deep cargo well with handy hooks on the seat back. You can manually fold the third row almost flat into the floor, and the second row seats slide far forward, making for a great cargo solution. However, the second row seats aren't removable like in some other minivans, which reduces maximum cargo capacity. Personal storage is also impressive. The Sienna boasts 16 cup holders, multi-level door pockets, and a large shelf between the front seats, perfect for a handbag. Car seat attachment points are super easy to access. You'll find four in the seven-passenger model and five in the eight-passenger. Buckles are simple enough for Booster H kids to manage on their own. How's the fuel economy? Chrysler gave us the first plug-in minivan, delivering an impressive 30 miles per gallon in hybrid mode once the EV charge was depleted. At the time, that was revolutionary for minivans. But now, the new hybrid Sienna boasts an EPA estimate of 36 miles per gallon combined. If you opt for all-wheel drive, it drops to 35 miles per gallon. We found it's capable of even more. We crushed those EPA estimates after driving nearly 500 miles in a front-wheel drive Sienna. We averaged 42.7 miles per gallon overall and hit 44.8 miles per gallon on a mixed driving route of just over 115 miles. We can't wait to see if the all-wheel drive version performs as well. Is the Sienna a good value? Even though our test vehicle wasn't a final production model, it felt solid with no annoying squeaks or rattles. The frequently touched surfaces, like the steering wheel and armrests, are soft touch and well padded. These little details contribute to an overall upscale feel in the interior. While the base Sienna starts at a slightly higher price than other entry-level models, it's on par with its competitors when similarly equipped. The top trim might be a bit pricier, but it includes features like all-wheel drive that some rivals don't offer. Plus, it has a robust warranty for hybrid components, roadside assistance, and two years of free scheduled maintenance. All in all, it packs a lot of value. If you care about how a car drives, the Sienna's brakes might be a sticking point. Sometimes they grab too hard, sometimes too soft, and occasionally they're just right. This inconsistency is a real drawback in an otherwise stellar minivan. But let's look at the bright side. The Sienna nails the basics, and then some. Its exterior has more personality than any other minivan out there. Inside, you'll find some cool features like a built-in vacuum, a refrigerator that actually chills your drinks and snacks, and second-row seats that recline with footrests, giving you that business-class feel. And don't forget, this hybrid can get well over 40 miles per gallon. Now that's a wild card if I've ever seen one. Toyota hasn't spilled the beans on the 2025 Sienna yet, so we'll update our advice if things change. But looking at last year's model, we'd go for the XLE trim. It packs many comfort and convenience features for the money, making it feel much nicer than the base LE trim. 
Plus, it's eligible for cool options like a rear entertainment system. The Toyota Sienna has six trims, LE, XLE, XSE, Woodland Edition, Limited, and Platinum. All trims are powered by a hybrid setup with a four-cylinder engine, cranking out 245 horsepower. Front-wheel drive is standard, but you can opt for all-wheel drive, except on the Woodlands Edition, where AWD is standard. What do you think about the 2025 Toyota Sienna? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful reviews and automotive news.